build it, they'll come. You guys have built it, and they've come. Fire marshals have shut the building down. There's still a line outside going out to Grand Avenue. And none of them came here to watch me coach. <laughs> Not a single guy came to watch me coach. I haven't made a meaningful basket in over 30 years. So it's all about you guys and it's all about your time. This is what you guys have worked for. Remember when we talked about it? Every single missed shot is a pass to you. Go get it. If we win the rebounds and we don't turn the ball over, everything else will take care of itself. Don't even worry about the winning or losing. Don't worry about the score. If we take care of business and do those things, we'll be successful. And it really is. It's your time. I'm going to tell you guys what I told Stephen when he was on the floor. And this is for all you seniors. I said, Stephen, you promised this school a section championship. Your freshman year, you said you were going to get one before you got out of here. The only way you get that is it's going to always go through Sakai. Just a little tidbit of information. We have not beat Sakai in this gym in 10 years. Mm. But this has been a season of news. Yeah, we beat them. We beat them in their gym. We beat them on neutral floors. But in our own house, we haven't beat them. And there's a whole lot of Pacer fans out there waiting for you guys to do what you've done best. All right? Like I told somebody before, this one of the few Pacer teams, 90% of this team has had a mother, a father, a sister, brother, cousin, somebody that's graduated from this school. And that means something. Why are y'all looking so serious? And this is the confidence, this is the confidence, confidence that we have in him. We have in him. That if we ask anything, we ask anything. According, to his will, according to his will, he here it does. He here it does. Faces on three. One, two, three. Pacers. Pacers. That's what we're going to do. We need the ball. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's, let's go. 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 Let's go.
concerns come to the team in 131. The thing is, if they stay in that 131, all we got to do is create movement. So let's run flow. All right. I know what you guys are saying. I told them one time to go ahead and run Panther, even though they're in the one, um, a one three one. What it's going to do is that bottom guy, if they're in the one three one, if we get the ball to the corner, they can't get there. Also, that guy's going to cheat, which leaves the slip wide open. So don't be afraid to run our stuff just because they're doing something that's a little different. What's up, coach? Also, in that one three one zone three is killing because you're going to have two we ran, yeah. Yeah. You're going to have two on the box, so they're going to always have a mismatch. They're going to have to either take the middle away or take those two on the box. You guys, you and DJ get on the block, you got to go and, and attack it, okay? We take away the 10 points that we gave them, and honestly, we have 32-17. And this game's over. Now, you know what happened. It's going to come down to the first three minutes of the second half. So we got to control that. The only difference between this and the, and the last game was they were up five going, into, um, going into the half. Now we're up five. So we can't see that same fate. And what we did, we opened up that second half, and I think we went on like a 10-2 run. And that flipped the game. We gotta stay poised. Now, you guys know what's the deal with the big fella? What's what's the deal? We gotta pound. We gotta get the ball into him. They can't stop him. At I don't even know if they're trying. They can't stop the one at all. We so gotta I make a concerted effort to get it to him. Right? And some of that will come down to Corey. If you penetrate, they're gonna rotate over to help, and you guys can dish. If Corey penetrates, remember AJ. That means you're the last guy back. But more importantly, it leaves you wide open for a practice jump shot. And that's just as important as you being the last man back. Same thing, vice versa. Way to knock that shot down, and that's what I'm saying. That shot is yours, you know you can hit it. If they're not going to come out there and guard you, knock it down. I still don't know how we lost 20. Now, I don't think he hit the shots, but they were wide open shots. Yeah, weak side. Involvement from we, know, we know where he is. We know it's over there. And that's just a matter of talking and rotating. Okay, I know low guy, if we happen to be in 32 and he comes over there, I know low guy, you're scared to leave the paint and cheat that way, but go ahead, you're right on the eye, you're right on the end line, while that ball's in the air, we're too long, we're too fast, and we're too athletic, we can still get there. And if, and if we happen to cheat over there, and they happen to get the ball to the box, my bad. And we're giving up too many offensive rebounds to the other team, and they're scoring off those second chance opportunities. So we gotta cut down the number of opportunities they get on the offensive rebounds. So Biggs, if you out guarding somebody 32 feet, don't turn and look at the ball on defense and see if somebody else is going to get the rebound. Every I'll, rebound is your rebound. Also, okay. the weak side guards got to come down and help rebound. So if, the, if you're on the weak side from the ball, it's your job to go all the way down and help rebound. Get that ball, put the body on somebody, block them out. But they're, they're getting offensive boards and putting them back in, and that's keeping them close to the game too. So are you still going 10 when 20 yes. goes in? Yes. Yes. Yes.